New tonight, a big boom in the South Knoxville real estate market has experts talking. Homes throughout the area, especially along Severe Avenue, are being flipped for some major price tags. WBIR 10 News anchor Daniel Secton spoke to local housing experts about why the market is seeing such a big change. Daniel. Robin, when you hear some of these price points, you will understand why calling this a market boom is far from an exaggeration. Prices are skyrocketing in South Knoxville, and that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. This summer's been hot, but South Knoxville might be hotter. I mean, everyone wants a piece of South Knoxville right now. It is hot. Kim Kennedy with Keller Williams Realty just finished restoring this home on Severe Avenue. The remake is impressive, but the reprice is unbelievable. What started as a $40,000 shack now stands with an asking price of $600,000. We did pay $40,000 for it, but... We have put a lot of money into it. If those numbers surprise you, you're not alone. We certainly saw the infrastructure coming in and, you know, the, the city putting money in there, but I would, I could never have anticipated a $600,000 listing. Real estate broker Susie Trotta says the numbers sound high, but high demand and low supply equals. When we first saw them go on the market, we thought, no way. And then they started selling. The price point is simply a scaled up version of the home next door, also flipped by Kennedy. It was priced at about 182 per square foot and sold for about 300K. The house next door is double the size and priced nearly the same at 185 a square foot. Both experts say the market is obviously one to watch, but with new businesses coming in all the time, Kennedy expects even bigger future returns from South Knoxville. You've got Honeybee Coffee to the right, you've got the brewery to the left, all the other things that have the potential of coming in this area, it's just going to probably cause the market to continue to rise. Another thing both experts mentioned is there's still plenty of properties in the area that have not been flipped yet. So opportunities to buy might be few and far between, but the price tags on all of them will likely remain pretty high. Robin. That is amazing. All right, Daniel, thank you for sharing that.